guys, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> Filming outside right now because I thought it would be cool, but actually it's just really hot and I feel like there's people watching me, but there's not. Except for you. <laughs> this is my cat. Um, he really, really hates me. I'm just kidding, he loves me. No, I don't love you, you weird big man. Today, I'm gonna be talking about something really cool. How to gain followers. I know what you're thinking. Ava, you literally only have like 500 subscribers and like 900 on Instagram. Well, <laughs> That's true. But I'm gonna just tell you how to like start out, okay? Cause, okay, calm down, don't yell at me, okay? I, I like to pretend that I'm cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna be telling you how to gain on Musical.ly, Instagram, and Musical.ly. Why am I so stupid? I just said Musical.ly, Instagram, and Musical.ly. I meant Musical.ly, Instagram, and YouTube. So yeah, why are you watching this? <laughs> so I'm gonna start out with Instagram because uh, I don't know why. Holy crap, there's a caterpillar on a spider web. I think it's dead. Holy crap. Ew, 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 ew. <gasps> I touched it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so Instagram. Have you ever seen those niche meme accounts on Instagram? They post things like this or 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 this. Or this. I had one of those. An Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Ava Noel Mosley. <laughs> That's also for my memes, uh, but I'm not telling you my meme account because uh, it's not actual memes. It's like fine. I'll show you my meme account. Um, this is my meme account. It's these are my memes. Um, they're not actual memes. They're niche memes. I don't even know how you say it, but um, they're niche memes. So it's not actual like memes. It's like the ones that are actually created and fun, so. Kinda got bored of it, so I like gave up on it. <laughs> I'm actually selling that old Instagram account. This is the username. Apparently people sell Instagram accounts when they don't use them anymore and they have a lot of followers. It does have a good amount. It has 1,200. So if you wanna buy it, I made a post on there. Go DM me on that account and then, yeah. <laughs> And I also have another account that I'm still actually using right now at this very second. And it's one of those self-care Twitter account, Instagram accounts. What am I, I don't know how to explain things. I'm kind of stupid. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about? They post things like this or this or this or this or this or this. Or this, or this. And that has almost 1,200 followers. So when you're first starting out, like before 1,000 on Instagram, it's pretty easy to gain followers. Basically, use hashtags, but every time you post, use different hashtags, but still make them like related to what you're posting. It's a lot of work, but it works. Go on to some of the hashtags that are like directly related to your account. You have like a workout exercise account. Mm. Go on to like hashtag fitness or something like that. Don't do follow for follow because that's kind of stupid because they're just gonna unfollow you and then you're gonna have like a frick ton of people that you're following and that just looks bad. But you can do like like for like or like shout out for shout out or something like that. So once you get to a thousand, the Instagram algorithm changes so it's harder to gain, which is annoying. However, comma, before you hit a thousand, you need to be prepared for when you hit a thousand so that you're still gaining. On my niche meme account, I didn't do that because I never hit a thousand on any Instagram account before. I was stuck at like 1,000 and like 50 for like weeks and it was so annoying. But then I figured it out because I'm a little smarty pants. Join promo group chats. It's pretty easy to join them. Just like post on your story like, who wants to join a group chat? And then people will like DM you like me. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do that? I just picked up the thing that I moved the caterpillar with. The caterpillar is alive. So then when people DM you, just add them all to a group chat and name it like promo group or something like that. When you post a picture, send that picture to all the group chats that you're in and be like, like and comment, please. Make sure when you're on those group chats, <laughs> Did you see that? Look at my cat in the background. It's licking its little wiener and its little foot is sticking up in the air. Make sure when you're on those group chats, people send you posts, you actually like and comment because most people who go in those group chats don't do that and it's really annoying because then there's like two people who actually do it and <laughs> they wanna die. 
Also, before you hit a thousand, make sure you're like posting on your story a lot. Make those little highlight things and like make a cover photo for them. Make your account like look aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> then when people look at your account, they're like, oh my god, this looks cool. I want to follow. <laughs> gang gang. Then when you hit a thousand, you still want to do like the shout out for shout out stuff, and like for like. But when you do shout out for shout out, try and like. Ask accounts that have like the same amount or like a little bit more, a little bit less followers than you. So let's say you have like 1,500 followers. Ask people who have like 1,700 or 1,600 or 1,300 or something like that. When you have like 100 followers and you ask someone who has like 2,000 followers, they're most likely gonna say no because they're not gonna be able to gain as much. Once you hit 1,000, you wanna like get on the explore page and like you know, make your account a business profile by like linking it to like Facebook. Holy crap, the caterpillar is moving. By the way, when you link it to a Facebook profile, it doesn't have to be a real profile. You can just create one on the spot with like a fake email. So, life hack. So that's all I gotta say about Instagram. If that advice helps, great. If it doesn't, then I'll just kill myself right now. <laughs> now I'll talk about gaming on YouTube. Uh, I'm not really good at gaming on YouTube because YouTube is really hard to gain on. <laughs> comment on a lot of videos. Like any video you watch, put a comment on that sucker. Don't make it like, oh, check out my account. <laughs> Subscribe. Cause then people are gonna be like, ew, no. Just like compliment the person in the video or something. Say something funny. And then people will be like, oh my god, this person's funny. I wonder if they make videos. And then they look and they're like, oh my god, yeah, they do. <laughs> also, uh, I don't I don't really do this that much, but you can like do like collabs and stuff. If you have a friend who has a YouTube channel and you know them in real life, then like you can make a video with them. Or you can do like an online collab. I don't know, get creative with it. Use your brain, I don't know. If you have other social medias that are like kind of popular. <laughs> on those. That's how I gain. There's another bug. Look at that. Do you see that? So now Musical.ly, which is probably what you all wanted me to talk about in the first place. Musical.ly is pretty easy to gain on. Obviously. If I can get followers on there, that means it's really easy to get fans on there. <laughs> when they put the For You page on there, everyone just started gaining like really fast. Only the people who are actually good though. If you're not actually good, you're not gonna gain. <laughs> Which is kind of the point of this whole entire video. Basically, post good content. Post a lot, but not not that much. Post like three to like seven times a day. I don't know. Just be active, that's what I'm trying to say. Also comment on other people's videos, like other people's videos. Musical.ly is also really weird because it's all little kids, so the weirdest people get famous on there. Not weirdest, but like, so if you want to get famous on Musical.ly, you have to just be rememberable. Like, there's a frick ton of people who have disabilities who are famous on Musical.ly just because they have a disability. Or just be like a cute boy. Also a lot of old people, and I am none of those things. So, must have a little bit of talent, I guess. Not really, but okay. Don't do those stupid hack things where you like follow a famous person and like follow a hundred bazillion people and then people will follow you back because that doesn't work. You just want to get on the For You page. Put your captions as like those question things so then you get more comments so then you get on the For You page. To get on the For You page, you have to have a lot more likes than you usually get and a lot more comments than you usually get. So how I started on Musical.ly was I made a hate video. <laughs> Surprise! Um, I was hating on Rebecca's Molo and then all her fans were like, Ugh. Then I made like better videos. People liked my funnier videos more than videos where I actually tried. Oh my god. I just looked at the videos that people liked and then adjusted what I was posting to that. And then boom. Content, baby. I think that's all I gotta say. Bye. <laughs>